Well, a national tour is making a stop right here in Connecticut. This is all to spread the word about a new documentary. It is called American Made Movie. And here to tell us more about the project, what inspired it, and when we can see it here in Connecticut, one of the film's creators, Nathaniel McGill. Good to see you, Nathaniel. How are you? It's great to be here. No, so well, tell us how you decided to make this movie American Made Movie. You know, um, my family grew up in manufacturing, so uh, it was something that we often thought about in terms of... Uh, what was going on in the household. But it really wasn't until a little bit later uh, when we started making documentaries, me and my partner Vincent Vittorio of Life is My Movie Entertainment, uh, doing different topics that we started to look at the food movement and how people were buying their groceries, how people were going to farmer's market, looking at that organic label and realizing that entire stores were changing the way that they put things in the store based on the demand of the consumers for those goods and it made us ask whatever happened to the made in the USA label it seems like more people I would think would want to buy made in the USA most of us are proud to live here proud sure. to be Americans I think a lot of us just find that it's difficult to find what we really want made in America yeah you know there's a there's a, a natural progression I think we go through everybody cares about the price we want it to be competitively priced right sure. and then the quality uh, and we want that, that definitely matters and what we're asking people to do is just think one step deeper and take a look at where the item is made locally within your state or within your community because after the recession everybody's asking hey what can I do to help improve my economy and we think that that's the ticket so uh, if you're looking at where products made those guys and those women that are making that stuff in your hometown um, they're the ones keeping your favorite coffee shop open, your favorite restaurant open. And so it really does matter, you know, where we're looking at, you know, our products, where they're, where they're made. It seems like it can be confusing, too. You could buy a Ford thinking you're buying American, and maybe it wasn't even made in America, and you buy a BMW thinking it was, uh, or you don't buy a BMW thinking it's a German car, but it's really maybe put together in one of our That's states That's one of here. the great things about this, this movie is that, uh, really, it kind of goes through the entire history. Uh, what manufacturing was after World War II, how the manufacturing base declined over over the years, and then what is American made today? What's it like for these businesses to compete in a global economy? And it's not as clear as it used to mm -hmm. be. You know, you can have a foreign-made car or that you think's foreign-made, like a BMW or a Honda, and it's made right here, and it's keeping people employed. I mean, Apple is a wonderful company. It's an American company. Grew out of a garage in California, but most of the products that Apple make are made overseas just because it's cheaper in China in one of these kind of, you right. know, buildings with, with hundreds of people just putting these things together. Well, we saw, we're seeing that demand is starting to rise. Mm -hmm. And so Apple just recently announced they're going to be making one of their computers here. Sure. Uh, that's because of the rise in demand, you know. And you have Walmart making announcements like they're going to buy $50 billion over the next 10 years of American-made goods. It's because people are starting to pay attention to this issue. And that's one of the things that we wanted to track through the film. So was, were there some surprises that you found? You traveled all around, right, to, uh, right, putting together the movie. Where did you travel? What did you find? We went all across the, the country to film the movie, and then now we're going on a 32-city tour, 32 cities, 32 days, um, and we're really talking to the people in the communities that are making things happen, the employers, the factories, uh, the economic development organizations, uh, to really get a picture of what's going on in, in the country. And it's surprising how much is actually still made here, how many people are employed in this industry, and what we can all do to help uh, you know, improve the economy in the sure. nation. Yeah. What can we do? If there's some item that I know I want to buy, do I just go online and see if I can find it made in America? Is it just that easy as a Google search? You know, yeah, but I think there's also organizations in each of our areas that can help with that. Okay. So if there's a chamber of commerce or there's, there is an economic development group, it does take rolling up the sleeves just a little bit, but I think it all starts with just flipping things over in the store. Okay, um, looking. You know. Uh, who, if you want to see the movie, American Made Movie, when is it coming to our theaters? Here? Yeah, theaters, uh, it hits August 30th, okay. uh, and it's national release. Um, if, you, if you don't catch it on the tour, the tour schedule is actually on our website, theamericanmademovie.com. And also, you can follow us on Facebook uh, and like us, on, like us there and follow the tour. We've got a lot of cool pictures. Terrific. 32 cities, 32 days. We'll, uh, it, we'll, it's just an amazing experience to see the country that way. Nathaniel McGill, congratulations. Thank you, sir. It's like a fascinating movie. Good to have you on the show. We Thanks.